finally, guys, uh, David Doe has uh, done it. And I think we can all just relax, breathe in and breathe out. Well, you know, over the past few months, we have been discussing about David Doe consigning his uh, 250 million naira. He said it will be transparent about why sharing it. Of course, we already know the whole scenario that happened that when that 200 million, 250 million naira came out. We already know the gist and everything. So David Doe promised to be transparent, to share it among and uh, publish the information online. Meanwhile, David Doe was just keeping us quiet, allowing us to rant, go here, go there, talk, 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 and all the rest. Meanwhile, he was actually doing the job behind the scene. Well, according to a press statement yesterday, we were not even expecting that. David Doe said, as a follow-up, to the press statement I released on 19th November 2021, where I announced my intention to donate the sum of 200 million received from my friends and family together with my personal donation of 50 million naira to orphanages across Nigeria. I bring you an update. As promised, a five man disbursement committee was set up. Since its inauguration, the members of the committee have worked tirelessly to ensure that they collate the names and information of documented and verified orphanages. I am pleased to announce that the disbursement of funds is complete. As so far, the total of 250 million naira has been disbursed to 292 orphanages across Nigeria, of course. As promised in my first statement, I have listed, attached the names and amount disbursed to the various orphanages. In the spirit of transparency, I thought it is wise to give you my loyal support, fans, family, and friends an update in this regard. I would like to say a big thank you to everyone that make this this possible the committee of high uh, caliber and principal people who dedicated their time to ensuring that tax this tax was complete carried out my wonderful family friends and well wishers thank you for your continuous support and love always remember we rise by lifting others david adili k so abia state to all the state of abia state abuja uh, Anabra, Akwaibon, Ibon, eh, Akwaibon, and uh, Adamawa, Baochi, Bayesa, Benue, River State. He went across all the states in Nigeria. 292 orphanages. Well, there we do. You know, we are coming here. The reason why we came out to talk about you this person this morning is not because. We are doubting you is because we we were thinking that no it's a little bit too late and all the rest so now that you have disposed it i want to uh, reaffirm you that uh, we are strongly in support of your disbursement and uh, you actually did a great job disbursing that money and may god continue to reward you and the one person who usually talk about this whole issue is daniel he said david o it's a good thing you officially released a statement regarding the 250 million naira disbursement, but only a few people and orphanage home have knowledge receiving donation, which make the account posted questionable. Kindly assure the money has been disbursed and not embezzled. <laughs> this guy is already saying that, okay, maybe he contacted those orphanages that if they have received the money. So some of the orphanages are saying that they have not received the money. So he is saying that kindly ensure the money was disbursed or or rather the money were embezzled. But that is the old news side. I do not want to indulge in now. That is the old news side. I do not want to start talking about. So let's uh, leave that for another day. But David has released a statement. Definitely we are not like uh, in a way uh, asking David to be involved like you no know, listing those going there by himself he has other things to do now he has other things to do so he trusts a few friends to help him to, to help him to do that so if going to contact of orphanages and any orphanage can come outside to prove that they never receive any money 
Then I think uh, there'll be those who call his friends, his close associates, go find five men committee to ransom. Then now let's talk about Abakari. Abakari's brother received 279 million from Oshpopi and others. Police report. Well, I say police report that if a police report has given details of how members of a syndicate led by suspected Nigeria fraud star Remo, uh, popularly known as Oshpopi, paid 235 million naira to the younger brother of suspended deputy commissioner of police and end of intelligent response team of Nigeria police force Abakari. Investigation also revealed that Kari sent 45 million in different transactions to his brother who was acting as a proxy. The police officer who is currently in custody of the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency was suspended by the police last July for his alleged link to Oshpopi and so on and so forth. Well, people are thinking that this is kind of like trickish. They are saying that, see, it seems as if Nigeria, Nigeria government are trying to shade Abakari from being a trial died to uh united states of america these are the propaganda going on these are the conspiracy theories going on currently it's not as if i am the one saying it no 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 when you go on twitter you read uh, a lot of uh, unfiltered information so you began to uh, pick one or two things together but okay this one is making a bit a little bit sense this one is not making sense at all this one is not doing this well we're still going to be watching though. According to uh, Idris Abukarim, he said, We need Abakari's picture in handcuffs to believe his arrest. You know, they said he was suspended. He was never suspended. He was still going about doing his business. Why we Nigeria, according to why we Nigeria were just placed in the dark. So Idris Abukarim said they should release a picture of Abakari in handcuffs. Then we know that it was actually. Uh, arrested not just uh this uh you know formal arrest that we are seeing people are seeing so do you think there will ever be a picture of abakari in handcuffs panel has recommended the motion of abakari to asp for fat, uh, fraternizing with frosters <laughs> the motion do you think is enough to asp for deputy commissioner of police to asp for mainly with a froster what about the drugs what about so many other uh, uh atrocities do you think the motion is enough guys do you think the motion is enough because we are all nigerians and uh we have uh, a stakehold in whatever is happening with this case so we cannot say it's none of our business it's our business it's our business we cannot say it's none of our business and uh we should just turn a blind eye. Although it might not directly affect you, but it's our business. You know, it's hard to find uh, good people out there. So the reason why I want to share this video is because I had an experience. Huh? There was a day I forgot my phone in someone's, uh, in someone's car, a, a, a taxi. And uh, then I think it was iPhone 8, something like that there about. I forgot, yeah. I forgot it and honestly it took it, it took me a while before i could get that phone back but on that two or three days but this guy insisted that i have to pay him and i agreed and i paid him so check out this uh firstly let me just show you this video hello nigeria um this is hosseini he picked this iphone yesterday and he returned it. He's such a good citizen. You guys should always return things that are picked. He's a good citizen. This phone, he would have been able to sell it in the black market for like 50 or 100,000, but he refused to do that. He says he must return the phone. So why you return the phone? Why you no seller? If you tell her no good now, can't you wait be my own? No good now. And you mean that? So what do you do, Mr. Hussein? What do you do for a living? Okay. What do you do for a living? What do they do where they use chop? They put food for table. I sell market. I sell chingao. Chingao. Mm. What do again? Mm? What do again they do? Only chingao. Only chingao. You get shop? No, I don't get shop. God bless you. Keep doing your good work. I appreciate you with a little talking, but trust me, 
your reward is in heaven okay absolutely good guys the other day we saw a guy who was giving money to prisoners and that guy life has changed obi kobana changed that guy's life so the thing is that eh, i want to ask this question a man who pick up your phone and you contacted that man say please bring my phone back and that person demand for money before bringing that phone to you knowing for the fact that if you disagree to pay him that money or pay her that money uh, that person might take the phone away you agree to give uh, that person money and that person bring that phone to you can we equally say that person is good can we categorize that person as part of this guy who willingly returned the phone because make jolly they will fair as ah oh god where that transport how much you will give me now or if you reach just ah, buy find me something now all those kind of things they usually do that so can we also say those people are good people for returning it but asking for something they return please uh can you leave your comment guys and uh, check out this uh <laughs> this one is quite a sad story this man said my wife killed her friend who, of, who offended her. We sold her hand for 70k. Couples arrested with human parts. It's a couple who we are, who we are apprehended for being in possession of human parts at Zawobu State have now confessed on how they killed their victim. The wife's friend, the man, 43 years old, and his 35 years old wife, we are paraded on Monday before the newsmen at the police command headquarters in the quarter a uh, kind day in the statement said that his wife single-handedly killed her friend who had paid them a visit according to him his wife butchered her friend and dismembered her body part after which they both sold the diseased head to someone in Ibadan, the or your state capital for seventy thousand naira. according to him he said there was a day my wife invited his friend a lady to our house for a visit the friend the first time she came was on a Tuesday. She came that particular day and went back home. But the second day she came, it was on, it was a Thursday that day. My wife cooked noodles and egg for the lady, which she ate. Later, the lady went into the uh, bathroom to shower. But when it was getting dark that day, I inquired from my wife when her friends would go home. But my wife said she was weak and would need to lie down to regain her strength. I sat in the backyard, but when I returned to the room, I realized my wife had killed her friend and dismembered her body. When I asked her why she did it, she told me that the lady had offended her a long time ago. The person who bought the, he the head came from a badon. His name is Olomo. He added that his wife had overheard him on the phone when the friend from a badon called him to request a human head. My wife had a discussion and asked me how much the man would pay for human head. I told him he was ready to pay 70,000 naira. I never knew my wife had made up her mind. As you can see, I am not a strong person. What the, what the incident, when the incident happened, I had wanted to kill myself. The husband said, however, <laughs> you are not serious. You are in it. You are not serious. So, what pains me the most is that you equate someone's head, someone's life equals to 70,000 naira. Ah. Boy, if you ever had, guy, if you ever had any, if you know you are visiting someone you have beef with a long time ago, please be careful. Be careful. If I have beef with you a long time ago, there's never any day I will be. I will be so comfortable around you. Never. It's not going to be possible again. Forget. I will forgive, but I will never forget. I will never, ever, ever, ever in this life be comfortable around you. It's not possible. No matter how you change, Rich, change for yourself. It's good. You have changed. It's good for you. Or we have settled. Good. But I will never, ever be comfortable. Never. No. <laughs> see, see what happened to this person. Just uh, 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 went to visit. Wow, it's crazy though. Well.